Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have a little planner haul for you. And it's the first official video I'm filming in my new studio. Well, apart from the makeover itself. And if you missed that, I will link it down below. I'm happy to be in this room. But yes, I'm gonna show you some stuff I got from Hopman and Shop Girl and from their Easter collection as well as the March subscription and then I have my Coffee Munchers Co quarter one subscription and a few little additional things that I got from there. So let's start with Hubman and Shop Girl. So I have my little thank you card that you get as usual and then I got some stuff from the frog range and um, this is the Happy Froggies sticker sheet. I actually have the Hobonichi kit for this and I wanted to use it this current week because this week is a leap year and I thought it would be fun to do frogs for a leap year. Although I don't really understand why leap years are the year that doesn't skip the 29th and the non-leap years are the years that do. <laughs> anyway, that's besides the point. I'll have to Google that later. <laughs> But I'll zoom you in so you can see this. Yeah, so I just, um, I, like I said, I have the Hobonichi cotton kit to use for this week. Um, and I'm actually behind. I would normally be all set up and everything. So, uh, but I didn't worry that this is only arriving because I was getting my studio all together. So I was just using this planner until I got caught up again. So I'll get it all set up and then I can use it for the rest of the week now that it's here. Um, but yeah, this is just happy froggies and it's a bunch of little frogs and lily, pla lily pads. And then as well as that, I got the set of vinyls. Um, so it's five die cut vinyl stickers. So you have this little one sitting in the lily pad with a flower. This one lying down on the lily pad this one with a little reed on the lily pad and then this one has two and then this is just a plain one so they're excellent little space fillers because i have an eight by ten planner and i also like to put one of these in the sidebar so but then the main reason for the purchase was the release of the easter collection and i didn't buy everything in the range just enough to use as a planner theme for a week it's got little chicks and bunnies and and then it has the Happy Easter in all three of these. So it's perfect for the Easter week. And this little one's my favorite, holding the balloons. So you have your first sheet, which is the full boxes and the labels. And then you have your second sheet, which is more labels. And then finally your third sheet. We get the banners, the weekend banner, the days of the week, some, ha some habit trackers and some faux washi. So. And that has come in in plenty of time. And then as well as that from the collection, I got the set of vinyl die cuts. Oh, the same. This little chick, it's really cute and it's holding a flag that says boop. <laughs> and then a little bunny with a happy Easter banner. And then a bunny with a basket of Easter eggs, a bunny breaking out of an Easter egg and a chick breaking out of the Easter egg, really cute. And then finally from the Easter collection, I got an, an additional um, sticker sheet. So I bought the Easter bunnies one because I the bunnies are my favourite. It's really cute. So we have a little bunny in a carrot outfit, is that? And then the one breaking out of the egg. There's another little one sitting beside an Easter basket. My favourite little balloon one. Lots of different little bunnies. And that one's holding a banner. Does it say book again? I actually don't know what that says. My eyes aren't that good. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, that'll be really fun to use um, on the week of Easter. So the final thing from Hubman and Shop Girl, I actually already filmed when I was still down in my other studio because I wanted to use the journal subscription to set up my journal so that I could use it this week because it's the first week in March. So let me put that in here and I will show you what key. So this is the journal subscription. It comes with this little envelope that has two sides here, um, two pockets rather, and then just the one pocket on this side. So you've got little koi fish and these vinyls are smaller than the vinyls that come in the standard pack of five that comes in the ultimate subscription, just so you know. 
And then there's always a little extra every month. Sometimes, sometimes it's sticky notes, it's different types of specialized stickers that are in addition. And this month it looks like, if I could get one of these out, it's smaller versions of these, but on washi paper, which is cool. Can you see that? I really love washi paper stickers. It's um, something I'm really into at the minute. They add less bulk to your planner and they look really good on the paper, like they were just always there. But anyway, that's the wee extra thing. And then you get a sheet of five stickers that are doodles that go along with the theme. So this one is Water Plants, Orange Koi, Grey Koi, Water Lilies and Happy Koi. And Happy Koi is the orange and the grey mix. So you have the or just grey, just orange and then the mix of the two together. So that's that side. And then you also have the main part of your journaling kit in these sheets. So you have Cam Koi Pawn Month and you get your headers for the month. Then the monthly date dots, and there are the days of the week for the top and the date dots. And then these are the days of the week for all the different weeks in the month. And then we have Cam Koi Pond Banners. And then finally we have the date dots for the weeks. And that's the journal kit itself, but you also get some sticker sheets and a journaling card. So here we have Happy Koi Pond and these are like a vinyl sticker rather than this type of vinyl um, and they're larger versions of the smaller ones I showed you earlier so yeah this is Happy Koi Pond Calm Ponds it's very good for creating a little scene if you've space to take up in a journal or a planner and then Calm Koi Pond And then here is a little journaling card, which is lovely. It just looks like a pond. It doesn't have any expression on it or not expression, like, you know what I mean? Quote, that's the word I'm looking for. So that is the journaling kit. Let me quickly show you what comes in the planner kit. So you get the same little additional item, the washi fish, and the same two die cuts. And then you also, with the planner kit, get happy... Um, Happy Koi Pond, Calm Koi Pond, Calm Ponds, and your journaling card, that's the same. But where it is different, instead of getting the journaling stickers that I showed you in the smaller size, you get the planner kit. And this is the standard size, and they have six pages. So let me just open it up and show you. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine in the background. Hopefully the, the, the camera's not picking it up. Anyway, so that's the first sheet. You have... Um, you are fantastic. Have a wonderful day. This is like a double box. Well, I say it's a double box. They're actually individually cut, but you could put them beside each other and make a full scene. And then a smaller washi strip style. And then full boxes. And these are made to last you for the full month. So you get plenty. Some bottom washi, some more full boxes, quarter boxes and half boxes. Some checklist style and habit tracker style boxes and some tabs. If you want to theme a whole journal with Cam Koi Pond, you could use them for like to do and weekly or something. And then speaking of, we have to do headers here, some more little doodles. There your stickers should go with that. Like I said, it lasts a whole month and you have enough weekends for a whole month. And then you get enough date headers for a whole month and each ones are in different pattern. That's the Cam Koi Pond journal and planner subscription. Right, I'll start with my small order and then we'll do the subscriptions after. So first of all we have the little freebie. Let me just zoom in. They used to say the month but now it says chapter. So because this was February, this is chapter two. So you have a little I miss you, a bag with love hearts being thrown out. And then this one I think is supposed to represent being separated from the person you love because they're on the other side of the world from each other, which is really cute. And then this freebie is cool. So it's essentially a swatch card for Tombow mar markers. 
which is really handy to have as a point of reference. I am redoing my swatch book, but I think I might keep this in it. Either that or I might maybe put it on my wall like, and display it because I collect Tombow markers. I don't know if I'll ever purchase every one that's ever owned, but I'm looking now. That 879 is gorgeous. Do I own that? I don't think I do. Anyway, yes, <laughs> so this is really awesome that she did this and I'll definitely be keeping it as a point of reference. And she does now sell her journaling cards in digital form. So I'm thinking maybe when this one runs out, hopefully it'll go up on the site. So if you missed out in this, you'd be able to purchase it. And then that would be great because you could print it in whatever size and format that you want or in sticker paper or something. So. Then I ordered a little kit and I actually bought the mini kit rather than the Hobonichi cousin kit because there weren't any large sticker doodle sheets that came with this and I wanted more food boxes because the Hobonichi kits from Coffee Monsters Co. you get six food boxes and I just, I like having more options for decor. So I just went ahead and got the normal size, but I want to use this during the spring. So this is the first uh, sheet and it's called A New Day. Each sunrise is a fresh start and it's lemons and this one always makes me laugh, like running over the hills with shopping bags. <laughs> yeah, and then this is the second sheet. So you have Weekend <clears throat> and this is an older format because it has a different Weekend ban banner than she uses now. But it's nice to have a wee change. Um, and then these are some half boxes and there's the little shopper again. And then we have bottom washi for each side of the planner. This is made for like a seven by nine standard planner and the lemon washi and then some checklist emojis and headers. And then we have some sort of faux washi strips and more foo box style checklists and one that has the Monday to Sunday. So, and then these were a purchase that I wanted to get some more of. I actually thought I was only buying one sheet and I ended up getting two. It was part of the 2022 Christmas advent calendar and she had some leftover stock that she put up on the site and I got some more. So it's the version, and you've seen me use these before on the channel, but it's like an overlay of holographic and um, this is the one I didn't realize came with it, but it has breathe in, breathe out, and then the little take it slow snail, and then the little emoji with a pin in the back saying no. And this was the one that I thought I was just purchasing, but um, they came in a pack. So it has the little emoji with a face mask, and then there's some creams in various forms, and, and then a little nail bottle. And I love the greens and browns of this, and just thought it was really lovely. And I had ran out, because I just used the other one like that. So I thought it wouldn't hurt to get another one. Um, skincare doodles. And then she released some new vinyls. So I got two of these, and this really makes me laugh. It says, I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to put that somewhere in my new home office when I get it decorated because I don't know I love my job like but things like this just make me laugh <laughs> um, and I got two of them because I'll probably use one in my planner at some point and then I also got some of the ink vinyls that she released um, so we have these ink doodle bottles and I got two of them and then there is a pen. She also had a pink pen, but I didn't buy it. Um, I got two of them. And then this was a little overstock um, that I have purchased before and used. And it says the struggle bus hop on. And again, it's just funny. <laughs> and I'll use it some week when I'm on the struggle bus. That was my little purchase but let me show you the subscription. Last year I got the snail meal and the snail parcel and this year I got snail meal and washi wizard because the washi that came in washi wizard also came in the snail parcel and the additional things that were in snail parcel I didn't particularly need. So it was awesome that I was able to do that. But this is the snail meal package and I'll show you it first. So yeah, the theme is city life. This little journaling card comes with snail meal. Now this also came with washi wizard and I currently have it hanging in my new studio because it is so cute. And the colors are 
perfect for the way I have my studio decorated but I have a spare one and I'll use this somewhere in my planner. It's uh, designed after the Beatles al album cover. I can't remember the name of the album. I'm not particularly a Beatles fan. Not that I don't like them or anything, I'm just not necessarily a fan but I know that that's what it's themed after where they're crossing the street and it's just so cute and I love 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 the colours in it. Um, on the back it actually says what comes in what. So snail mail you get large city life doodles and this is really adorable. Let me zoom in a bit. And I love the doodle stickers. So you have a little singing emoji. It's like an emoji rushing to work holding a newspaper. Various little buildings and cars. This is me, an emoji rushing to work with a handbag and a coffee. <laughs> That's really cute. And then gathering of emojis. Let's find that. So these are on washi paper and I believe they're on washi paper too. So if you're going out for uh, lunch, say I'm going out with my friends and the twins are there and my other friend and me, I could put this little sticker to say that I'm meeting them or something like that. There's loads of different things. So you get an individual one, two, three, four, and then it goes to, what's that, seven? Yeah, so that's really cute to get that one in the back. Hopefully, because they're very tiny, you can see that okay, but they are so adorable. So that's the gathering of emojis. Then we have city building doodles, which is this. So we have a bank that looks like and then a coffee shop and then that looks like a little I don't know it says open so it could just be a normal little shop and then that's a food market and that's a restaurant so you can make a little town if you have a little space in your planner and I believe these aren't yeah these are normal sticker paper rather than washing and then we get foiled emoji numbers so these are very special we have emoji heads and numbers beside it with a silver foil and hopefully that's showing up on camera and you can see it and then we have days of the week doodles this so I have a city life um, open ichi kit so this will be really perfect to go with it I love the fact that there is a kit to go with this theme this time um, so yep you have your Monday to Sunday and then an extra little house here and this is normal paper rather than washi paper and then we have city life sticker seals here so they are sticker seals with silver foil and there's a building <laughs> and there's a modi with a safety hat on and for some reason a traffic cone <laughs> and that's really cute and you also get this as a little freebie and this is hilarious and I don't know where I want to use it. When I first saw the sneak of it on Instagram, I was thinking of a million places that I want to put it. So I think I might just hoard it for a while until I decide where to put it. But it has a little emoji with sunglasses and pearls and it says emoji professional shopper, department of splurge management. And it has the employee ID, the issue date and the expiration date and then the wee signature. And that is just so funny. It's really cute. <laughs> I am definitely a professional shopper. <laughs> well, when it comes to planner supply things anyway, I could definitely be considered one. So that's the snail meal um, and I'm really happy with that. So it's perfect because I use stickers all the time. So then we have the snail parcel, like I mentioned that I used to get. So I'll show you the washi wizards now, but the additional thing I didn't get was building sticky notes building adhesive pocket and city life sticker seals. Now I would have used the sticker seals but it wasn't enough for me to warrant getting the whole parcel because the sticky notes and the, the adhesive pocket. I mean I still have the adhesive pocket sitting there from the January subscription with the stars on it and stuff so as much as they're gorgeous I just didn't need them so I think this is perfect. So Washi Wizard like I said came with one of these and it's hanging on my wall and then it also came with this little vinyl sticker and it's really adorable so it has the handbag and a newspaper, shocking bags, the coffee cup and that's a little heart and then the little bow in the hair and this is just really cute and it's good that your two freebies Although 
and saying that I wouldn't mind if I had a duplicate of this, but I'm just saying <laughs> your two freebies are different in the male and the washi wizard. So that's the freebie from it. And then you, like I said, got an extra one of these. And then the actual washi wizard itself, we got 15 millimeter city cars. So let me show you that. So that is this one. Let me open it up. And it's really unique. I mean, all Helen's washies are really unique, to be honest, but it's on a very pale, pale grey. Like, you'd almost think it was white background, but it's definitely pale grey. Or maybe it's just coming across as pale grey to me because of this. But anyway, um, there's no pattern on it and everything or anything. It's just plain on the background. And then it's just a row of lots of different cars. So... It's people sitting in a traffic queue and that little one's honking. <laughs> That's a taxi. Uh, let me see. wonder what that one's doing with its mouth. It's in like a wee TCMC van. I'm trying to see where the pattern repeats. Yeah, I think, I think that's the end of it there, that pink car. So that's a pretty decent size swatch. Let me see if I can show you the whole thing together. So there, see, with all the different cars. So that is City Cars, 15 millimeters. And then we have Vertical Classic, which is this. So the way she had the classic washi before, where it has the silver metallic and all the little emojis, and this is definitely on a white background. So let me compare. Yeah, that's definitely not as white as that is, in my opinion anyway. <laughs> so yes, this is the vertical version, whereas the other one came horizontal. So as you can see, so if you wanted to cover times or something and run it down that way, and here is the horizontal version just by comparison. So you can see it's the same pattern only this one's horizontal and this one's vertical. This one is a 15 millimeter and this is actually 12 millimeter. So it's um, a different size than even her 10 millimeter ones would usually be. And it's an, a unique size for her. Um, this little tiny one is the only other one that she's done that is vertical and it's white as well and it's little emoji heads. So there you go. And then finally, we have Concrete Jungle, and this is my favourite, 2.0. This is at night time. So I pulled out the one I have that is the daytime, which is one of my favourite washies. And this is the same thing, only it's night. So I'll just open them both, just to show you. So it has multiple different metallics. It has silver and gold within it. And this one is the same thing, only it's night time. So I've lined it up so that the pattern matches so you can see the difference it's the exact same picture with the same little metallic details and this has the gold and the silver as well only the background of this is like an ombre from very dark black down to a lighter gray to represent the nighttime and the silver really pops off it it's gorgeous so it just depends what sort of mood you're in um that you want to go for it in your planner whether you want to make it night or day. And that is everything sticker wise. So let me just tidy up and then I have something really exciting to unbox with you. I finally got myself a Canon selfie and I am so excited to get looking at this. I've been itching to open it, but I just left it to the side while I was doing my studio up so that we could unbox it together today. So let's do it. So I have a HP printer. And I have online labels release sticker paper and I love it. However, whenever I print on one of the sheets, I try to fill the whole sheet before printing because otherwise you're wasting a page. But sometimes it's nice, it would be nice rather to have the option to print smaller photos without having to print a full page. And it's just one of those things, it's like different options for different things. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. And this is a Selfie CP 1500 compact photo printer. And then we have another few little booklets. And then what is this? This must be, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it has this part here 
that you open at this side and then as you can see it's like um I don't know I describe it but it's one of the parts of it it must be here and then this is the actual machine and I got it in black because I have quite a dark and moody vibe office plug this part of a plug and then the actual machine so let's get the box out of the way it's a good size it's actually bigger than I expected to be like that's the size of my hand so but it still you know seems like I mean it's not massive that it would take up your whole desk but so that is what it looks like so we have the four parts, two parts of a plug, whatever this is, <laughs> and this. Okay, so it has been two days since I opened that, but I didn't realise I hadn't bought a bundle. And you need to buy uh, the photo paper, obviously, but you also actually need to buy ink for this planner. So that's something to note. If you're using like an HP sprocket or like a Canon IV or something like that, I think so with a Canon IV, but definitely with the HP sprocket, they have ink within the paper itself. And the back of the paper, it's like a sticker. You peel the backing off and you can stick it down. The only thing is with it, you're limited to the size. They're usually quite small. So it's just something, you know, weighing up the pros and cons. And I would probably get an HP sprocket, either that or a Canon IV in the future, maybe for different purposes. But I figured I would go for this first because it is more flexible and you can do so much more with it. And that way, if I only ever end up with the one, I have the one that gives me multiple options, if that makes sense. Anyway, so let's open this up. Now, I thought it was gonna be really complicated to set it up. Um, and I got Stephen to help me with it because of that, but it was so easy. I was going to say it took less than five minutes. It took less than a minute. <laughs> Literally all you do, and it says the instructions all in here. We're going to put the ink in the paper in now. I haven't got that far because I don't have any. But to actually get it to work, you have the two different plugs that connect together. If you remember, I showed you them in the box. It's really long here. So there's one plug here. This part onwards is one plug that connects to this piece that connects to the back of the selfie, okay? And then you can also, if you want, buy a battery so that you can just go totally wireless and that way you'll never have to plug it in. It is an option and it actually goes in the back of here. Um, there's a place for the battery there and that's the battery release, but you don't have to, it works you know, the exact same with um, the plug. And then this piece you actually keep off to print. As far as I know, we're gonna give it a go now anyway. <laughs> so this side has a place that you can plug it into a computer. I'm not sure what that one's for. Like uh, this isn't a review, this is brand new to me. <laughs> but anyway, and then over here you have the ink cassette part, which we're gonna do now. But anyway, you just plug it in, turn it on, and everything that you do is really obvious. It says the exact same instructions on this as it does in here. So you choose a language and this screen shows up. I really hope you can see that on camera. And I chose English. And then this screen shows up. And then whenever it gives you the option if you wanna skip or if you want to do the install the app and I chose to install the app and then okay. And then this exact screen comes up and it has a little code for your camera and you hold your phone over this and scan the code and then you follow the process of downloading the app. Where is my phone? So now I have the Canon Selfie app on my phone. So you can do it directly from here and then this part of the corner is where you select your printer. I have the CP1500, but you can also, if you have different types of selfie, choose it. So I'll never have to worry about that because I only have one. 
and it's all the different information over here about and everything but all you really need is this menu here so you can choose just to select a print a normal print n up layout which is two photos side by side bookmark layout um which is multiple photos and i actually saw julie from julie's plan use that one um and i actually saw a diyer use this as well um mckenna so that's what kind of swayed me to give it a go because it seems to be very popular although i don't think they have this model i don't know i'm not 100 percent but anyway um bookmark layout and then shuffle layout combination layout id photo and label layout or if you want you can do it directly from here so you can push all the buttons here and it has the same options and then you just push it and hit print and it comes out rather than having to bluetooth it through your phone so if you have a camera you can put the sd card directly into this or you can connect it to the computer like i showed you at the side and do it solely through this so there's lots of different options and i I will be playing about with it over time and getting the hang of it but honestly you could just keep it really simple use the app connected to that and hit print so anyway once i did that it gave me the option for um establishing a connection to my phone and everything but basically it talks you through it and does it all for you and it, it was really really easy i um got as far as 0.6 then which is load ink and paper cassettes and I didn't have any so let's open up my little box I actually need to plug this in give me one second this wire is really long I suppose that's a good thing if your plug's really far away um let's take this little screen off and then hopefully how satisfying Boop. and then hopefully you'll be able to see what happens when I turn it on Anyway, right, so let's just follow the instructions and I hope I don't regret not waiting for Stephen to get home. <laughs> so, where are we? Number six, install ink and paper. Load ink and paper cassettes as described earlier. So, that is here. Okay, so there's the pictures and there's where the ink goes. It says here, ink cassette. So you open this up and there is the little part. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the part where the ink goes. Let's open our little box. Right, so this little one that I bought, there's a quick start guide in here, but I already have that manual. That's all you really need. So anyway, you get three packets of the ink. One, two, three. So I'll have spares and three um, packets of, no, one, two, six of these, but essentially it's 108. So 108 photo sheets and three inks. So I'm gonna open this up. Okay, right, and then insert it. So which side is the big side and which side is the smaller side? That is the question. I think this is the smaller side. Nope. Um, maybe I need to wait on Stephen. <laughs> oh, there we go. There you go, Ruth, you are capable. Yeah, so this is the way it goes in. So the smaller side is towards the back, if you can see that. And the bigger side is towards the front. Excuse my light shining on this. Um, and it's the only way it'll fit. So <laughs> it's not like you're going to be able to put it in wrong because it won't go that way. So you just slot it right in and push it down. So that's the ink in. Okay. Right, next step, let's get back to number six here. Right, printing from a memory card, SD, blah, blah, blah. Print, you can now print from selfie photo layout. Yeah, so essentially we just load the ink and load the paper and this, that I didn't have a clue what it was, is what <laughs> holds your paper. So you just open it up like so 
and put the paper in. Do we load it down, shiny side down or shiny side up? The very good question. Let's see, does it say the start here? I doubt it. I don't, I hate books like this that fold out. Can I not make it like an actual book? <sighs> the, oh, it does. So glossy is up. Thank you. And I don't know if you're meant to raise this or whatever, but let's just put it in. Glossy side up. Close this. And then this can close for when you're finished it and you want to protect it, but whenever you're printing, you have to raise that up. And then this bit at the front comes down, as you can see. Oh, there's the SD card insert, by the way. I didn't show you that. Can you see that? If you want to put the SD card in that holds your photos and just print directly from this with no phone involved, um, you can. Anyway, so you click this in. Hmm. Oh, that was easy. He just pushed it in and clicked. Right. So now let's turn it on. You have to push it and hold it down to turn it on. I'm probably making this seem more complicated than it is. It's really easy. And the instructions were there, it literally told me. When I got my other printer, I had to experiment to see which side was up and which side was down. Was this to say it, glossy side up? See what I mean? It has the same stuff from the app, but I'm going to use my phone because my picture is on my phone. And I was messing about on Canvas yesterday to get something to print. So we're doing postcard, I presume, is the full size, because each one goes down. Glossy is what I have. Image optimize when printing. Why wouldn't you, I suppose? Um, smartphone. Recents. Favorites, Instagram, WhatsApp, Untitled Album. So you just go into your actual phone. Excuse the random selection of pictures in here. This one, I'm preparing myself to do my Me, Myself and I project. Anyway, tips, move and scale and rotate photo. Okay, so that's perfect. That's exactly where I want it. I don't, but you can move it around if you need to. You can add a border, you can add a background, you can date it, you can stamp it. All stuff I don't need to do. And do you just hit print? Print. Selfie wants to join Wi-Fi. Connecting to the printer. Preparing. Sending. All images have been sent. <gasps> that was so easy. <laughs> I was expecting it to not connect and having to go and get the Wi-Fi code and a whole lot of faff. So that's just loading the paper in and see the way at the back, sorry, it's hard to get it all in at once, but see the way it came out the back there? Look, it goes right out the back. So you have to make sure this part isn't on, otherwise it would trap it. And it must like run it back and forward, adding different colors with each swipe. That is cool. I'm going to be having lots of fun with this. Let's see if I can turn it so you can see it coming out the back. See, so it's, um, if this was on, it would block it. With each swipe, it like gets better and better and better. This then is the largest size you can have, but you must be able to buy smaller options. You can also do the, you know, the bookmark thing I showed you earlier. So that's it, all images has been sent, okay. Um, and we're done, I'll just go back home. Your edits will be discarded, that's okay. I don't need to delete it, or I mean, I don't need to save it. Perfect. <laughs> I am like a kid in a candy store and I cannot wait to play with this. That is awesome. Look at the quality of this. That You can't even see the ink sitting on it. It's like a professionally printed photo. And then you can actually, these are perforated here. If you can see, you can rip them off or you can keep them. I wonder why they do that and don't just make it the full size. 
Well, yeah, I'll experiment over the years and get different types of paper. That's actually the colour mauve mist of my studio behind me. Um, and I was hoping it was a four by six that it would fit in my little photo frame. Hold on a second. And it would save me having to order it from Snapfish. It is, it is actually. Although it'll have a white border, but that's okay. Yeah, it's four by six with this rip bit off it. Anyway, <laughs> I hope that was helpful. <laughs> if um, I'm not confusing basically, because I just, like you said, I've never seen this in my life face to face. And if I, who am t afraid of technology, can do it, <laughs> then anybody can. Um, and make sure you keep an eye out if you're interested. I'll be playing a bit more in um, doing a me, myself and I spread in my journal with it if you if there's something you want to know about it. Although in saying that I'm not an expert, but maybe over time when I learn how to do it, I can do a review and let you know what I think. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that haul today and take care and I'll speak to you really soon. Bye. Sorry, I'm back. I just realized something. I think you can select no border, which means, you know, because I don't want a white border around it. And I'll keep this and stick it in my planner or something. But I just want to see if this works. So, so if I do border, borderless, look, it took the border away. <laughs> I am like a child, right? Print. Anyway, <laughs> I'll leave you watching this one print. <laughs> um, and I'm going to stick this in here and hang it in my wall. I'm so happy with that. Anyway, <laughs> that's a proper goodbye. <laughs> see you soon. Bye. does it take to be happy how many times do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone before you get to meet someone like you how many songs can you write about heartbreak how to go when you're fed up with mistakes Maybe I just found the answers Maybe I just found the answers in you